So just about anything NASA does is pretty cool. Well, now scientists at NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton are getting ready to test a new way to send spacecraft through the solar system by only using a sail. Yeah, like a boat. Chief Meteorologist and resident space expert Jeff Edmondson has a look new tonight. If you need to launch a spacecraft to orbit the Earth, you need a lot of fuel. Now, if you want that spacecraft not just to orbit the Earth, but to orbit the Moon, Mars, or even beyond, you need even more fuel. What if I told you you could send a spacecraft through outer space by only using the solar wind? That's what they're doing here at NASA Langley Research Center inside this facility. So let's go check it out. Inside this facility at NASA Langley Research Center, they are showing off the Advanced Composite Solar Sail System, otherwise known as ACS-3. How it works is by using sunlight and more specifically the photons that are released and that pushes the sail. Out in space, right outside the Earth, ACS-3s will feel about the push from light equivalent to four staples. So if you think about four staples in your hand, that's the amount of push that you will feel from light bouncing off of a sail. But that's enough out in low Earth orbit where you don't have as much gravity, you don't have as much drag, that's enough push to get us going. Hopefully have enough force to raise our orbit, lower our orbit. The primary goal with this mission is to test the deployable arms, also called booms, that hold the sail in place. During liftoff, the spacecraft needs to be small and compact. All of the sails and booms are rolled up, once the spacecraft is in Earth's orbit, it only takes 25 minutes to expand to its full size. When this is fully deployed, it's 860 square feet. So it's about the size of an apartment out of a small microwave. And what that allows us to do is enable cheaper missions. The material for the solar sail is very light, very thin and delicate compared to something that you might be more familiar with, aluminum foil that's in your kitchen. This is six times thicker than the material used for the solar sail. It's a, a lot of work. people here at NASA Langley, at NASA Ames, have put in many, many years of their lives into this. So it's, it's extremely exciting, and I'm really excited for what we, this could demonstrate for the future. So this spacecraft and solar sail will be launching early next week from New Zealand, and we'll keep you up to date on how the mission goes. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson at NASA Langley. Ten on your side.